So this video is going to be for all the 1981 and 1982 Corvette owners that are no longer running the factory computer controlled fuel injection stuff. This car that we're working on right now is a 1981 and something unique about 81 is they were the only year that used a computer controlled quadrajet carb. I actually have one out in the yard. I'm going to go show it to you. So here in the parts yard I have a 1981 which at one point was very original. It isn't anymore. But if you take this off, this is what I mean by a computer controlled quadrajet. So it looks like a normal quadrajet, but has all these electronic plugs that plug into it. It's either this in 1981 or it is this in 1982, which is the Crossfire fuel injection that is very famous for being crappy. But believe it or not, this is not what the, the, this video will be about. This video is about checking your distributor in your 81 or 82 if that is already gone. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of sensors and stuff that are extra on this car that the computer runs off of to pretty much manage the fuel and manage uh, the ignition timing. So a couple of sensors here, there's a big plug here, there's another big plug right there, more sensors all the way around. So it's pretty much Stone Age style technology at the very, very beginnings of fuel injection. So let's talk about what normally happens on these 81 and 82 Corvettes. What normally happens is the quadrajet or the crossfire is yanked off and something else is put in its place. Perfect example right here. There's an Edelbrock style uh, intake and carburetor on this engine, yet the computer controlled distributor was still in the car. Now, let me show you how to recognize that. So here is the distributor that came out of this car. It has the normal plug that goes to the cap, but it also has this extra plug in the back. So if you work on any kind of uh, Chevrolets from the 80s on up, C4 Corvettes, you'll notice this is very familiar. Now the main difference is when you have this distributor in and you no longer have the computer controlling everything, all the sensors are gone and the carburetor is gone or the EFI is gone, guess what? that won't advance. If you look at this distributor, you'll notice there's no vacuum advance, like on that one. There's nothing for vacuum to hook up to. There are also no weights or anything like that inside of the distributor to advance it, you know, based on RPM. All of the advancing is done by the computer. And guess what? If the computer is not reading all those sensors, it's not going to be running right. And I have heard that you only get maybe six degrees of advance on these when the computer isn't working. So it's beneficial to run one of these. So this is just a normal ATI that they used from 75 all the way to 1980. And you see it has a vacuum advance and it also has you know, these weights inside of it. So yeah, that wasn't advancing at all. So this car should run a whole bunch, be whole bunch better with a normal distributor. So yeah, short video, it may be boring, but hopefully you learned something that if you have an 81 or an 82 Corvette, check your distributor. If you're not running your computer and you don't have a check engine light on inside, you need to replace it and get some more timing advance in your motor.